We're now going to talk about another very interesting and slightly heavy topic. So I hope all of you are, you know, indulging in the light stuff, but we're going to move on to some real deep conversation now. The topic coming up next on stage is the future of health, synergistic strategies to reduce inflammation and enhance performance. So beautifully put that title together. What an impactful curation of words, right? We move on to our speaker and invite Ms. Yulia trowinska Jedlina on stage. She is a leading expert in functional genetics, hyperbaric oxygen therapy, and personalized longevity medicine. The only Polish woman recognized among the young disruptors of the World Anti-Aging Medicine Congress, she stands out as a global authority with over 20 years of experience treating 50,000 patients at VMed Longevity Clinic. Yulia is, re is renowned for her innovative approaches in biohacking, blending HBOT with personalized nutrition for optimal health and longevity. While all of that is a mouthful, I'm sure Yulia will come here right on stage and explain all that she has in relevance to our topic. Let's give a huge round of applause for Yulia. Thank you. Hello, yes. Hi. Can I have a quicker? All oh, right, thank you so much. Hi, uh, thank you very much for your introduction. Thank you very much for having me here. Uh, as we figured out today, I'm the only Polish representative uh, here, so it's, uh, it's for me a really great honor to represent our beautiful country. Um, I run a medical clinic in, uh, in Warsaw, in Poland, and I would like to show with you what we are doing, what we are combining. Uh, in our clinic. Uh, you can scan it right now or scan it later to, to receive later the presentation or LinkedIn or Instagram. What would you like? The, uh, the QR code will be also later. So, um, as you heard, we have 20 years of experience. 30 years ago, my mom got cancer, breast cancer, really bad one. No one could help her. No one could uh, treat her. And my father and my mother decided that they have to do everything to help her. My father is a doctor of economics. My mom is a, uh, she was a broker. She was working um, with, uh, with different, in, in, in uh, different, um, uh, different, uh, different firms. And they decided that they want to heal her. They traveled the world. They looked for different approaches. And they didn't find any clinic, any place that could combine the synergistic effect to treat her. One person had the cytotoxicity test, another person had the genetics, another one had colon cleansing. So they, after she recovered, using different strategies from different personalities, from different clinics around the world, they decided that that was the lottery, that was maybe a sign from universe that they want to help people and that they want to combine all of those together to receive the synergy effect and to help people around the world. Uh, for 20 years, we are already treating people with 50,000 patients treated, coming to us repeatedly, almost every year or every second year, to repeat their tests, to repeat their blood, uh, blood tests, to repeat their um, cytotoxicity test, and to do the liver cleansing as well. Uh, we created our innovative therapies. We based on the scientific and evidence-based medicine, but more scientific, because as you probably know, longevity medicine, biohacking, actually still doesn't have so much evidence-based medicine. It's not still evidence-based medicine. As it was mentioned, I was one of the six, um, six young car inv innovators from around the world. It's um, the biggest congress for anti-aging and uh, aesthetic medicine in the world, in Monaco. And last year, I had the privilege to present also my results there. Not only uh, the young car innovator, but also we were promoted as the finalist for the two cases that we presented for the integrative medicine and for non-surgical body shaping. And non-surgical body shaping was uh, counted as the one of the three the best strategies in the world. Uh, so uh, I will show you later this spectacular effect of our patient. We were already talking today and yesterday about longevity. What is longevity? That it comes from longa evusong, long life. Longevity is the trend right now, like for two last years, everyone right now becomes a longevity clinic. We also changed our name a few years ago because we saw after 20 years that our patients rejuvenate, rejuvenate for 10, 15 years during our treatment. They feel better, they perform better, they are more creative, and their health span is becoming bigger. Because the health span is the other word. We are saying 
longevity in a good health. So our main goal is to create the best health span for the, best, uh, for the longest time that we can. Uh, as we were talking today as well, we are genetically, uh, genetically determined to live to even 175 years, as it was said. But unfortunately, we are lacking 30 years of our potential, potential life. Why that? Because we have a lot of chronic diseases, we are living in stress, we have a lot of microplastics, we have a lot of um, social disconnections, social problems, and of course we are traveling, we have a lot of EMF, so all of that is actually destroying our life. And one goal of the longevity medicine is actually to help you to prevent the aging and to reverse the aging on the molecular level. Because as we also said, uh, heard today, the molecular level is something what's happening inside of yourself even 10 or 20 years before it will be showed up in your organs or in your, uh, in your skin. Uh, these are the hallmarks of aging. This is something what was created uh, last, last year, was presented last year at the conferences. These are the hallmarks that we are all um, treating or tackling and uh, we are talking about them all the day, but maybe it was not named as the hallmarks of aging. Uh, aging is progressive. We also heard it today that first it started on the biological level, then it comes to phenotype level, but at the end it's finishing with functional level, with cogn cognitive impairment, with the problem with walking, you know, we, we, are, we need help, we need people who will be taking care of us. And in longevity medicine, and also about biohacking, we all, I think we all aim and we all agree that we don't want to have help in our elder years. We want to be powerful, we want to travel. My parents are 70 years old, they are not taking any medicine and they are planning their trip to Sri Lanka right now, they are planning their trip right now to, um, uh, to Israel, they are, coming, they are going for Christmas for, to Oman, so they are, they are living their life with the best. Really, my good friend has 80 years old, she's working full-time as the longevity specialist, She's working with food, uh, cytotoxicity test, and she, for her 80 years, by herself, she went to Colombia for, um, for safari, for like checking the, this, this jungle there, and it was incredible. So we really can age with dignity and with full of power. Uh, lots of things change with age, as you know. We, uh, we, ha we are feeling lonely, we are having more... Um, more wrinkles, less collagen, we are having more visceral fat, we are having problems with body composition. But with age also our organs are getting, uh, are getting, um, uh, are fasting, uh, are aging fasting, uh, faster, faster than our skin. We don't see it. Our liver then, it can be regenerate. Uh, it can be regenerate itself if we provide her the right conditions. Our heart and our circulatory system are also aging, and we also can slow down that. The other thing, the brain. I don't know if you heard the name Shai Efrati. We are in Dubai. He right now, he actually confirmed that we can reverse our brain aging as well. Uh, our immune system must fight with all the chronic inflammation that we are seeing. So the question is, uh, I wanted to ask you, like, who wants to live forever? Is there anyone? There are a few people. All right, so for this question, a lot of people answered that they don't want to live forever. Only 26% of population said that they want to live forever. Here, I think we have less than, than maybe 2% or 3 But there are no drugs, there are no medical techniques right now, till today, that will help us extend our lives even for one day. So it's the future maybe, you know, prolong aging with some drugs. I was two weeks ago I was at the longevity conference where there were 15 companies presenting in front of David Sinclair, in front of Brian Johnson. We were sitting all together and they were saying, yeah, we will have a drug for being uh, healthy and for the longevity. And when we asked them, okay, so when it would be, they said, maybe we should, you know, wait like 100 years, maybe 80 years, because it's just the proof. We don't have a drug. What we have, we have different medical disciplines that are trying their best to tackle the chronic inflammation, to help us to feel better, to, uh, to reverse our aging, to, um, to work on our nutrient deficiency, and so on. Uh, longevity, for me, there are like different levels of longevity. And we found out that right now, longevity trend is focusing actually on two of them. This is what 
is going on right now in the longevity trend. Preservation of the organs. Did you hear something about that? Yeah? Do you know that already 300 people are preserved in the world? And they're working also for the consciousness preservation because they hope that in 100 years we will wake him up and we will find the solution for aging. What we are doing in our clinic, we know that we can buy not only beauty, but we can buy also good health. And we also can agree, all of us, that the food is the next medicine. We came back in our clinic to the roots, to Hippocrates. We knew that by adopting the latest based research and the cutting edge innovation, but based on the food medicine, we can reverse all the chronic diseases that are coming out and help people. We are working together, we are combining together the biohacking, the longevity medicine, the optimization of the performance. We are using different questionnaires, the medical body compositions, the epigenetics. I also use the nutrigenomics. I'm working with genetic testing for 13 years already by myself. Uh, but I switch for functional genomics because it's even more effectiveness. So I'm also using the functional genomics testing for identifying the weaknesses, not only if you have the lactose gene, but looking for the whole pathway maps, what is working, what is not working for the personalized treatment. We have a lot of patients coming out from different countries. We have, patients, we have the Paralympics winners, we have uh, international models like Anja Rubik, we have people who are coming to us uh, to have a baby because they were waiting with infertility for like three or five years. They were trying different in vitro, they were trying inseminations, nothing happens because everything was inside of them. There was a chronic inflammation coming up and they couldn't fight it. We start with the blood test, as we said. We are treating them with the whole approach four months, six months, eight months, ten months. Those people were people that are um, that were before, they tried everything. They tried everything. They tried, for example, one of them is the person with stomia uh, at the beginning, but we reverse the function of their body, of their microbiome, and the stomach is gone again. There are people who are, for two or three years, they are having blood in their stool. They cannot work together, they cannot work, they cannot go out, they have migrants. They have problem with, uh, they are going to the bathroom like 16, year, 16 times a day. Can you imagine 16 times a day having a diarrhea? Not even being able even from going to do, from Dubai to Abu Dhabi, for example. These are the patients that are coming to our clinic. They want to live. They want to live healthy. They want long life. But they discovered that they want this long life in the moment that they were sick. So this is the problem, actually. We are here, and I'm really impressed that all of those people that I met here, all of you, you, are, you know what is biohacking, you know it's longevity, you know about personalization, you know about supplementation, you know about different techniques. But those people that we will come back home and we will be working with them, they don't understand that. They will come to us when they will be sick, first of all. Of course, it's changing. But this is what we are doing. We are first treating the root cause of the disease and then educating them that they can live happily ever longer. But first of all, this is what they need. And no one said before today about, and yesterday about kids. We are all speaking about adults. We are speaking about longevity. We are speaking about, uh, about biohacking. We are speaking about steroid, hormones, supplementation, and so on. But for me, longevity starts with them. These are my patients. They are coming like that every day. This is atopia dermatitis, this is, uh, this is eczema. They are in big pain. The whole family is in pain. And this stress that is causing, caused by this kind of problem, it's also uh, killing the whole family. So I cannot focus, for example, our mom with the overweight, or mom which is stressed, want to meditate but doesn't have time for that. But I have to focus on that to treat the root cause. And if I am speaking about longevity and about synergistic approach, synergistic approach is also for me the family approach. Not only working with one person, but the whole family, the, the whole social network. I love the presentation about the social, um, uh, social communities because that will also enhance you know, the power and the commitment of all of us. So I'm doing everything to help those people, to, those kids to be happy. 
So longevity medicine is really complex, uh, but it's based on the personalization. This is the most important thing for me, tackling the inflammation and the underlying factors of the, of the disease. What we are doing to tackle this personalization, does anyone, please hold your hand if anyone heard about cytotoxicity reaction? Okay, one, two person. And food intolerance? More people. So I have information for you. IgG is not working. We know that for 20 years. IgG, food intolerance, is not working. This is the approach that we are using for 20 years. Cytotoxicity, this is the reaction, what people should eat, what shouldn't eat. Because you can find genetics, of course. You can see that person has the lactate intolerance problem. But I see that not, also, also, uh, not only LCT gene is a problem, but I see that they have the problem with absorbing, for example, um, uh, the casein, they have problem with, uh, with salad, they have problem with different, different uh, food as well. So we are doing those tests. We are doing the functional genomic tests to see the pathway maps. We are doing everything to get personalized diet. Uh, I will speed up. I will need uh, two more minutes. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, we are doing this to receive the synergy. The synergy to bridge the gap between the unknown and known, between the biohacking, so enhancement, exercising, trying everything on ourselves, you know, like checking if this supplement will be okay for me or this supplement will be okay for me with the longevity medicine that actually is going right now for the trend of measurement, trend of uh, put the ring and control what you're doing. We are tailoring all of that together. We are putting everything, the science, the not checked uh, therapies as well, together tangled to self-optimization, which drives the real tangible results in improving healthy lifespan and vitality. We are using the multifactorial therapies, we are using different IVs, hyperbaric chambers, but we are using the most important thing. You know what's that? What? Yes. Did you see so many on, on one slide or one day? I see them every day. Like I receive like 50, 000, 50 pictures a day of those parasites. So we can see... We can speak about mental, we can speak about microbiome, we can speak about everything, but if we will not clean that as well, we will have a big problem. So the synergy is combining all of that together. Multifactorial therapy, not focusing on only diet, only, um, only supplementation. Don't focus only on hyperbaric chamber. Don't focus only on, uh, on the sport. Don't focus only on sleeping, but focus on all of that together. This is the, the worst, uh, most important uh, leader of WTA, the tennis player that is, uh, I am working with her for, for 12 years. Uh, to do that, uh, I, need, uh, well, I have three more slides, okay? <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, we are using the hyperbaric chamber. You already heard about that yesterday. But I want you to t t t take you home one more one, uh, word. Angiogenesis. You know what that means? Creating new neurons. Creating new, uh, new uh, vasculars. This is something what hyperbaric chamber is doing. So... Uh, I will share with you this presentation. I put so many slides, but after those two years, I wanted to, to make different uh, points uh, to, to, to speak out. But I put a lot of things here. I put the results also from AMW Simonaco, where we received incredible results uh, tackling the statistical data on the level like 10, 10 to 10 points we received. And, but I want to make you think about the synergistic effect as targeting information. Uh, creating elimination diet based on personalization, optimizing nutrient absorption, ensuring the adequate oxygen supply, regenerating the liver and detoxification support, making together. Don't biohack yourself only on one thing, but check all of the things and check yourself. Make it personalized to optimize your metabolism to, for the pro-extreme performance. So, if you would need more information, I know I'm, uh, I'm <laughs> out of time. Uh, on my website, you will find three books that I, that I wrote. They, right now, they are in Polish, but uh, they will be uh, soon in English. You can, you can scan it, you can find them. It will be about the personalization, about the breast cancer as well, because I'm also working with that, and, and about um, this food intolerances test. I'm sorry for being late with that, <laughs> but uh, if you will have any questions, I'm here around, and I will answer all of them. Thank you. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Yulia, not... who didn't take a breath in the last 20 minutes or so, but I'm sure there's a lot more to uncover.